Hey y'all, you know what time it is. It is Motivational Monday. I am so excited. I am back from Dallas. I am pumped. I am, oh, I'm so many things, but I am so ready for Motivational Monday. And I'm just so thankful, y'all. Oh my God, I'm so thankful for God's word. And listen dallas was beyond awesome just the conference um it was a desperate for women's conference and if that doesn't say enough i went desperate so when i tell you he met me there and listen i'm just pumped i am ready to i keep telling you my theme you already know it. you can probably say it before i say it big faith that's what it's about big faith and big faith is trusting an almighty god it is saying that he is is my one and only source it is my little self yielded to a big God who can do great and mighty things through me so I am so excited I hope you are ready 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 to get motivated in God's Word if you are new to motivation on Monday my name is Latrice Bartley I am one of the co-founders of beauty and purpose my mom Fayetta McTa is the other co um, owner co-founder and motivational Monday was something that the Lord placed on my heart to just encourage us to get in his word to build a foundation in the word of God to um, to literally frame my world through the through the word of God because here's the reality you will not make it without the word of God that this is how we get to know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and what better way to build and to grow in the word is by knowing his word we are in a time where we need to pray y'all it is time to pray but we even have to pray effective what are you praying you know we should be praying the word of God and so motivation on Monday is not about just memorizing a bunch of scriptures or just being able to say from week to week I know this scripture but it's meditating in the word and saying God what are you speaking to me through this word what are you saying to me sometimes the scriptures are not something that we have not heard before but depending on where you are in your life scriptures speak even though you've heard them they speak differently but motivation on Monday is also about literally kicking off our week in God's word we don't know what our week hold but we know who holds the week and it's encouraging each other we are a community of believers and so it's not about I might be in a different walk than you are and you might be where I am but it's together getting this word getting anchored and when your brother or sister maybe they're down or going in something but reminding them hey sis the word of God says this you can make it hey bro the word of God says this so it's in encouraging each other through the word because together we can do so much we talked about um a couple weeks ago our scripture the power of agreement so y'all i am ready to get motivated listen god's word is reliable he is he is reliable he is faithful he is trustworthy he is ever true to his promise first corinthians 1 and 9 amplify read it so this week we are going to be in ephesians for the next three weeks and if you want to get a Ahead, you can but I want to start out with Ephesians 3 and 16 and this is Paul's prayer for spiritual growth and I believe this is where we all should be but again we can't grow if you're not getting anchored in his word y'all because this is how we know him and I can't who I can't explain enough let me just say this I said this at the beginning of the year and I, I was just, um, the Lord was just dealing with me on some things. And one of the things that I mentioned is to live our life. Y'all, our life is but a vapor. Tomorrow is not promised. And I don't say that to make you fearful of, you know, oh God, when I'm going to die. But I say that to say, y'all, it's time to do what God has called you to do. If he told you to write, if he told you to speak, if he told you whatever he told you to do, just do it. Who cares who's looking at you? Who cares what? who thinks about what? Y'all, all I care about is obeying God. All I care about is seeking his face and being what he has called me to do. 
and we all have something to do but y'all our life is about a vapor and he's coming back he is coming back Jesus is real and I want to give him everything I want to empty myself to him I want to be used of him I don't know about you and so I don't have time to worry about what you think about me whether you like my video whether you approve on what I say it's God's word and so as long as I am being obedient and walking in the word of God that's all that matters to me if I gain friends if I lose friends but I, I like how my husband said he's such a wise man but he said baby always go after the one he said it's always about the one he said you know Jesus he was always about the one it didn't matter what the situation even when people would come in crowds and they're like you know no back away but he always said no he was after that one and my husband reminds me that all the time he said you just go after the one and so y'all I don't know about you but I want to encourage you like my husband encouraged me go after the one maybe it's a neighbor maybe it's a co-worker y'all just do what this is what motivation Monday is it's about being motivated to get in God's word and here's the thing when you get in God's word then you begin to it it, take, it begins to take root when it takes root y'all there's some power there's some boldness and confidence again last week's scripture second Timothy because it's not about us but it's him in us working through us that wills and it propels us to do what he called us to do and so I want to encourage you today to just do what he called you to do y'all oh my god he He's real and I want to leave everything I don't want to give more to my job and more to this this world than I give to him and think about it you know the Lord was showing me something the other day he said we go we go after our masters we go after degrees we go back to school we do all these things right to to better ourselves but when you go get your masters or degree and I'm not saying anything is wrong with that but my point is we will we will settle ourselves and we will commit to some hard things whether it's a doctorate program getting your degree whatever even maybe it's a internship program we will commit to these things and sometimes they take years of our life but there's no guarantee when you fill out a master's you know your entrance into a master's program a doctorate you don't have no guarantee that you're gonna make so many um, dollars a year or that you're gonna have a job but you do it believing that this is the next step this is something that is going to better my career my point is if we commit to natural things how much more should we commit to the things of God where we know what the end is going to be he told us that he has plans for us the Bible tells us the promises of God are yet they are true y'all everything is said we know what the outcome is for living a life after God so why not give him even more I mean go all out like y'all I'm about big faith this year you already knew that was coming taking the limits off and literally saying God for you I will live and for you I will die I don't care how crazy I look but if you told me to say it I'm gonna open my mouth and say it and so I just want to motivate you not to just get in in this word but y'all get bold for Christ it's not about us but he's the one he said I will and work he puts in us the power to do everything so it's not even like you have to do what we have to do is be willing to dig in his word study his word get in his word stand on his word y'all this is our foundation things will come we're not promised the easy life yes there's gonna be some tough times there's gonna be some trials but we already have a promise of victory and so it's building that foundation and and building our house you don't build your house in a storm you don't wait till hurricane come to say oh let me build my my dream home who does that but you build it you know in the summertime or you build it when you know okay I can get this done and it's the same thing we are week by week laying a foundation to drawing closer to our, to our God so that we can bear the fruit that we can be trees that bear fruit y'all and so I don't know I'm I am pumped okay y'all know I get excited motivational Monday is serious to me and I'm gonna be honest I call it motivational Monday but it's motivational every day because this word I need him every day he is a vital necessity to my life and so y'all okay I'm gonna try to slow down but 
I'm serious about God's word. I am serious. So this week's scripture, we are going to Ephesians 3 and 16. And it's Paul's prayer for spiritual growth. And I'm going to read it in two versions. Um, the first version is the New Living Translation. And it says, I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then in the Amplified Version, it says, May he grant you out of the riches of his glory to be strengthened and spiritually energized with power through his spirit in your inner self, indwelling your innermost being and personality. Now, I like to look up words just to give a little bit more depth. When you look up indwelling, it says to be permanently present fixed in a person's body. So he said, may he grant you out of the riches of his glory to be strengthened and spiritually energized. Y'all, we talking about, again, I think about when Paul said, when I'm weak, then he is strong. Y'all, I'm not talking about, listen, I love to work out. Y'all know I love my waist, but I'm not talking about, you know, energy that you get from the weight room or something that you can do, but this is supernatural. He said, I'm praying that as you tap into him, y'all, we talking about supernatural party power from, un it said unlimited resources that you would be spiritually energized. There's an energy that comes through the spirit and with power through his spirit in your inner self from the inside indwelling your innermost being and personality and again i want to talk about all i hear is power and i want you to our cross-reference scripture is going to be second samuel 22 y'all read all of that it is so good when i think about um power um i, I particularly like this verse in verse 31 second samuel 22nd chapter 31 it says god's way is perfect all the Lord's promises prove true. He is a shield for all who look to him for protection. The next verse says, For who is God except the Lord? Who but our God is a solid rock, y'all. For God is my strong fortress and he makes my way perfect. Listen, in verse 35, he says, He trains my hand for battle. He strengthened my arm to draw a bronze bow. You have given me your shield of victory. Your help has made me great. Y'all, then when we go to Psalm 71 and 18, this is another cross-reference scripture. It says in the New Living Translation, Now that I am old and gray, do not abandon me. Oh God, but this is where we're going. Let me proclaim your power to this new generation, your mighty miracles to all who come after me. Y'all, that's where I am. Listen, I, I'm not, I am just thanking God for my baby and for my life, what God did through um, Olivia and I. But y'all, God said that's just the beginning. He said, I'm a God of miracles. Y'all, he is a powerful God. And when we tap in his word and we begin to walk by the spirit, he said, there's an inner strength. The, the word of God said, there is an energizing, y'all. He said, spiritually energized with power. So this thing is supernatural. And I want to encourage you to get motivated to y'all get in this word so that inside that we can begin to walk by power. I want to motivate you to allow this word to be a lamp. Literally, I mean, I'm sorry, a mirror. Let it reflect. Y'all, if when you're getting in this word and the reflection, the word should be showing you something. That should be a reflection. And if you're not lining up, hey, who cares? Get it right. Get it before get before God. Your cry should be, Lord, every day, wash me over, God. Lord, try my heart. Lord, if there's any wicked way, if there's anything in me that would cause your name to be blemished, let the word of God be motivated to let it reflect who you are. Say, God, show me, you know, so that I can get it right. But y'all, Paul is talking about, he said, there's a spiritual energy in this power. We talking about a God who resurrected. And I want to go to another cross reference scripture that I thought was so good. And it was in Psalms 147, 
4 through 5. But I specifically want to look at verse 5. And it says, Great is our majestic and mighty Lord and abundant in strength. His understanding is inexhaustible, infinite, boundless. In the New Living Translation, it says, How great is our Lord. His power is absolute. His understanding is beyond comprehension. Listen, we are talking about a God who can do anything. And if we are to be image bearers, we are be to be imitators, we should be literally walking in that same power, y'all. There's nothing that we can do, but who's asking God to do miracles? Who's asking God to show up in our life? He is the God of Moses who parted the Red Sea. He is the God of Daniel. He is the God of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, but he'll be the God of Latrice. He'll be the God of you. He's a God that's still doing miracles. He's powerful, y'all. And this is what Paul is saying. This thing is supernatural. And so that's why I want to encourage you to get motivated to get in God's word so that you can be God spiritually energized to run this race, to do what Second Timothy was talking about last week that, that he put in us. He said, I've already given you the power. I will to do. I put in you. I'm the one that's giving you the ability to accomplish that. What I set out for you do. It's not even in your strength, but it's in him, y'all. And so listen. Oh my God, why would you not want to do what he told you to do? You know, I just, again, I keep thinking about our life is but a vapor. Y'all, we don't have time. Somebody needs what we have, you know, and we're sitting on a, we like, where is the church? It's time to stand up, be the salt of the earth, get motivated to dig in this word and walk in the power, be a true imitator, an image bearer of our powerful God, not no little G-O-D. I'm talking about the God, the God of of our salvation and then one more I have one more um, okay maybe two but one more cross reference scripture and I thought this one was so good and it said um so this is Matthew 22 and 29 and when the Lord showed me this this morning I said oh this is good because here's the problem Matthew 22 and 229 the New Living Translation says Jesus replied your mistake is that you don't know the scriptures and so you don't know the power of God that's simply what it says in the Amplified it says but Jesus replied to them you are all wrong because you know neither the scriptures which teach the resurrection nor the power of God for he is able to raise the dead but again this scripture spoke to me because it's what motivational Monday is all about it's about getting in the Word of God y'all we know him through his word and he said he put his word above his name and his name we know is great is mighty there is power in the name of Jesus when we say Jesus demons tremble y'all but he said my word so y'all when we get this word and this word begin to take root in our heart my God we can do anything but it's not in us and here's the beautiful thing you don't have to have everything he said I'm telling you it's not gonna be by your strength this is supernatural so y'all get motivated to trust him and let me tell you where my testimony is I want to end on this the Lord showed me this scripture and I said oh my God this is where I am this is my testimony Psalm 71 7 through 8 I'm gonna read it in the New Living Translation it says my life is an example to many because you have been my strength and protection that is why I can never stop praising you I declare your glory all day long and in the Amplify it says for you are my hope O Lord God you are my trust and the source of my confidence from my youth y'all listen here's my thing you already know big faith he should have killed me okay he should have took me out on the table but in that my life was spared y'all with psalm 71 7 through 8 that's where i'm at my life will be an example not because i'm so great or i'm so wonderful i'm so pretty i have nothing to offer but y'all i have a great god i serve a mighty god i serve a powerful god and when you understand who he is how do you sit i can't help but praise him i can't help but open my mouth i can't can't help but be motivated to get in his word and say what he has to say I don't care if you don't like me I don't care if you tired of hearing my videos 
unfriend me but everything he told me to do i have to do it because of what he said he was my strength y'all wasn't there in the operating room y'all wasn't there when the doctor said you won't live but he shielded me he protected me he kept my mind and so how do you not go on and continue to serve a god who will spare your life y'all I don't know about you, but I'm telling you, get motivated. Jesus is real. He is coming back. And if you're watching me and you say, Latrice, I don't know this guy that you're talking about. Let me tell you something. He loves you. All you have to do is humble your heart, yield, repent, turn from your ways. It doesn't mean just be sorrowful because we can be sorry. You know, our kids get, when we catch them on stuff, they sorry, but then they'll go right back and do it again. But when you repent, you turn you don't want to keep doing the same thing over that you know this pleases him and if you would confess with your mouth and believe with your heart that he is the Lord let me tell you he will change your life it doesn't mean everything will be perfect but it means that you serve a God who is perfect he will enable you and then the next thing is to ask for this spirit that I'm talking about the Holy Spirit he's your helper he will guide you and direct you so that you can have that energy energy that that spiritual energy that Paul is talking about y'all he said in in the, the first verse in the New Living Translation he said I pray from his glorious unlimited resources listen when you know Jesus that's all you need everything else is a resource Paul already told he said unlimited if we would just get in this word and begin to dig in it and begin to give our life to him and say God let him know what you need you starting a business Lord I need context Lord I need this put it before God begin to seek his face in everything and see if he will not provide what you need and listen walking by faith is even trusting when he don't answer he still know what's best because he's sovereign it doesn't mean that i'm gonna speak it and i'm gonna see it sometimes he might remain quiet but are you still gonna praise him are you still gonna walk in expectation is he still gonna be the god of your salvation even if in silence he's still sovereign he's still when he don't have an answer he's answering and so y'all listen i want to encourage you like paul let's begin to grow spiritually let's begin to be energized through the power of his spirit get motivated allow this word to be a reflection allow it to show you begin to wash yourself in the word let's get motivated to move not just quote scripture but to walk this word out to begin to be doers of his word so whoo I am excited. Can y'all tell I'm motivated? I am so motivated. Y'all, his word is real. And when you get in his word, I don't know how you can sit. It it moves you. You have to. It, the word requires a response. It begins to make you. When you really get in it and begin to soak in it, y'all, it, it propels you to do something. And so I pray today you are motivated. Get in Ephesians 6 and 13. I'm sorry, Ephesians 3 and 16. Read read um second samuel 22 oh my god the whole chapter and y'all i'm going to continue as psalm 71 7 through 8 says I want my life to be an example. I want somebody to know that you can make it. I want somebody to know that it's not in your strength. I want other people to join on the big faith bandwagon because big faith is not about what Latrice does. It's about this little girl who, this little lady who has nothing, but she's yielded to a big God, an awesome God who can do anything, who is amazing, who has unlimited resources and power. So be encouraged, y'all get motivated and get in this word. I'll talk to y'all Wednesday. Bye.